Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's your boy Logan. And today, we're covering an entire deck for the card description for a card review because this deck's been out for a while. It's been out for a long while, like a week at most. So I thought, you know what? For card review, let's do this. Let's cover these cards and see what they do and what they don't do. And. It's spell. It's a spellbook of prophecy. It's called yeah, spellbook of prophecy. All right, I own four of these apparently. <laughs> can't get rid of them, can I? No, I can't. So let's cover these cards one at a time, and we'll see what happens. And if I like the deck, we'll rate the deck. Where I was supposed to do a design, a card artwork, uh, ten out of ten. I don't think I'll be doing that. I think it's stupid. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take up a lot of time on this video, and I don't want that for you guys. I don't want you to keep watching because, well, card reviews are card reviews. Were okay. Match Callum. The first one we're gonna cover is okay. First of all, it says Spell Book of Prophecies. Prophecy. Every card here is a spellcaster type. No cap. Spellcaster type. Every single one of them. Every monster in the deck is a spellcaster type. I will tell you if they're tuner. I will tell you their attribute. I will tell you their attack, their defense, and all of that. Good, good stuff. And we'll also read some of the descriptions. Magic Caliber. Let's start with this one. It's a 1,000 attack. 1,000 defense. Tuna. That's good. Don't see many tuners in spellcaster types. Uh, yeah. The problem I have is with its scale. It should have a higher scale. It should really, really have a higher scale. Uh, it's scale and it's uh, level are disproportionate, but that's my opinion. I don't think it's uh, hi a, a high enough scale. A scale 5 for a level 4, no, that should be higher. So it wants you to incentively want to set the pendulum scale. And as a avid pendulum summoner myself, I would like Konami to change that, if you guys can. But if you don't, hey! Either way, it's cool. This can be played as a generic uh, tuner. A generic tuner. Probably on turn 1 or turn 2 to quick tune, to quick summon like a synchro. Or quick summon an Xyz on your turn if you have the right kind of defense. So yeah, let's cover this card. It's a Pendulum regular card, normal monster. It's Pendulum effect reads... You can declare a level from 1 to 6, then target two up to 2 monsters on... In <laughs> Let's try this in English again, okay? You can target up to 2 monsters you control until the end of the turn, reduce the levels, the level of one of those monsters by the declared amount. And if you do, increase the level of the other monster with the same amount. Even if this card leaves the field. You can only activate this effect once per turn. Yeah, okay. Let's cover this really, really quickly. Good effect. Great effect. Great outrageous effect. But... But... How easily... Would it be to synchro this card? Use this card as a synchro. Extremely, extremely easily. This will be way too damn easy to synchro, man. What is up with that? This would be way too easy, especially high level monsters that require generic materials. Uh, quick easy starters, man. Quick easy starters. You could use this card. Could you use this card? Like if you have two of these, one on the field. You could use this card as a synchro, an easy synchro for a Stardust or a high level synchro monster that requires generic materials. Super easy. Super easy. I think that's the point, but also, why would you want to do that? Uh, strategy and all of that stuff? I guess. But it would be way too easy to synchro. I think they want to, like, Pump up some synchro material, some synchros with this card. It's a good card, don't get me wrong. It's a it's a fairly standard card by Yu-Gi-Oh! standards. I mean, 1000 attack, 1000 defense is pretty standard for a lower level monster. 
and its attribute being water is mm, uncommon in spellcasters, but still. Its pendulum effect make no sense. It make no sense. Its flavor text read... You know what? We're going to skip this flavor text because it's been on the screen for a while. You guys probably read that. Well, I was reading the pendulum effect. Let's go to the next one. Stoic of Prophecy. Level 1. Water type. Okay. Water type. Water type spellcasters are very uncommon as far as I've seen. Most of them are either light or dark. You'll find a, an earth attribute here and there or some other attribute here and there. But the most uncommon of them all are the water types. It's an effect monster with 300 attack, 200 defense. It's a level 1, so cool. Uh, this, in combination with Magic Caliber, would actually work really well for a Synchro. Um, and maybe one other card. Alright, let's read this effect real, real quickly. When this card is sent to the graveyard, add one level 3 or lower spell <laughs> prophecy monster from your deck to your hand. Sorry about that. That is a cool effect. That is a cool effect. So you could generally use this as a synchro material or a fusion, generic fusion material. And you get a prophecy card from your deck to your hand easy. No problem. This is adding cards to your hand, which is a good thing. I guess. I guess. Let's move on to this. Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. This is also cool. Another water type. The previous card was also a water type. Uh, psh, why they didn't make this one a tuna, I will never know. Alright, its effect reads, when this card is no flip summon, you can add one spell book from your deck to your hand. It's a spell book spell card. They generally work really well together, and yeah, this is okay. Definitely okay, one of the things I like about this card. It's a level 2, so you're going to probably use this as cannon fodder. Unless you're going to use it as like Synchro or Xyz. Who's Xyz summoning with level 2 monsters? Just asking. <laughs> For a friend, not me. Alright, next card. Level 3. This is a pretty decent... This has pretty decent stats. It really does. It pretty, has pretty decent stats. And it's an earth attribute. Like I said, there's quite a few earth attributes, spellcaster types. It has pretty decent stats for level 3. And it's an effect monster. Just for the record, for those of you who don't know, most of these cards are going to be effect monsters. And uh, let's check this out. Once per turn, you can reveal one spell book, spell card from your hand. Special summon one level four lower spell caster type monster from your hand. Turn one move. Definitely a turn one move. Uh, it's going to work really well in conjunction if you have more than one magic caliber card. It's going to really work well with that. And it's an auto rare. Its variant is an auto rare. Yeah. <laughs> when this card is normal, flip summon. Yeah. So you want to normal summon this on your second turn in order to do a snap quick synchro summon. Easy, easy, easy synchro. I, but then again, that's what I think these cards are for. Most of them are going to be like generic synchro or XZ's cards. Uh, yeah. All right. Transparency of prophecy. Also, again, fairly regular, very standard. Level three, one thousand attack, one thousand defense. Good, good stats on this card. Uh, standard stats on these cards, on this card specifically. Love the artwork. Uh, during your main phase, let's read this effect. Sorry about that. During your main phase, if you activate a spell book card. I mean, by that I mean spell book, spell card. The previous turn, you can tribute this card special one level five or higher light or dark spell caster type from your deck. You can only ask, you can only special summon, you cannot special summon another level five or higher monster during the turn this effect was activated. Sorry about the bird, she is being really annoying for the past couple of days. But we love her still the same. Uh, this card, this card is a quick Dark Magician. 
or DMG, Dark Magician Girl. For those of you who do not know what DMG is. They're really, really quick, simple, easy. Especially if you're pairing this with other spellcasters like your Apple Magicians and your Dark Magi and your, your Magician Girl deck. If you're pairing this with a Magician Girl deck, ideal. Ideal card. I mean, but then again, you also have to play Dark Magician. Because they work. That deck literally supports Dark Magician. Again, really good card, really good stats, Earth Attribute, level 3, balanced stats all over the show, sorry about the part again. Hermit of Prophecy is our next card, 1200 attack, 700 defense. This card is unusual for a level 3 to have that kind of attack. Normally level 3s, like especially effect monsters, normally have around between 500 and 1000 attack. It's very uncommon for you to see that this this kind of attack, and especially after I read its effect, it is going to get even worse. Each time a spell book spe spell card is activated, increase this card's level by two, and it's attacked by three hundred. So this card could effectively go up to level whatever you want it to get. <laughs> get especially if you're running spell book trap uh, spell cards. Really, it could get really really high. And it could be OP as hell if you're smart. And you're only running like, if you run like three copies of every spellbook card out there, it could be OP as hell. But if you didn't want that, you could just generally use it as generic XCs or let's go back to that. To what it is. This is a level three. For level three, again, this attack is really, really high unnecessarily. You could use it as general Xyz material or fusion material, generic Xyz, generic synchro, generic fusion, generic link material. Uh, so yeah, that it's a it, it's gonna be a pretty decent card. This card, the next card, Justice of Prophecy, is also really very uncommon to see that kind of attack. One thousand six hundred attack. Uh, I mean, it's another attribute, so I guess. I guess that's how that works. Um, the different types of attributes contribute to the fact that it has to be high attack. But again, very uncommon. Very uncommon for you to see this kind of attack. 1,600 attack, 800 defense. I guess they kind of balanced it out that way. <laughs> it, it too is an effect monster. Let's read its effect. During the end phase of this car, if you activate a spell book, spell card on the previous turn you can banish this card add both one level five or higher light or dark monster from and one spell book spell card from your deck to your hand cool uh again this is very supportive of uh the machine the magician girl archetype or the dark magician archetype if you want to play that way it could help a lot a lot but you have to be running mostly spell book spell cards in order for this to work properly like again one copy of every uh, three copies of every spell book spell card in your that you have like even in tcg ocg this could be really good like in real world mechanics it could be really good if you play your hand right and most of your most of your deck is basically spell book cards and spellcaster type monsters. This card could be really useful. You can only use this effect, the effect of justice of prophecy once per turn. Again, pointless. Pointless in saying this. This is the this last part. You can only use the effect of justice of of prophecy once per turn. I mean, you're banishing the card, quite literally banishing the card. Unless you have something that brings the card from the banish zone to your graveyard zone to to the field. I don't see this getting played more than once. It's probably going to be used as cannon fodder or or generic material for other summonings, but its effect, its legitimate effect is bloody damn good. I like it a lot. I like the effect a lot. The fact that they had to put you can only use the effect once, uh, the effect of justice for uh, justice of prophecy once per turn. Guess what? Nobody's gonna be using it more than once per turn, Konami. 
Just pick a side and stick with it, bruh. Okay. Full of prophecy. Again. Weird stats on this card. 1,800 attack. 1,600 attack. 1,900 defense. Weird stats. Earth attribute. I've seen this in a lot of Earth attribute monsters. The lower the level, sometimes the higher the card. The attack. Makes no sense to me. Um, but then again, I could just be an old school Yu-Gi-Oh player who... Who still believes in the heart of the cards and that bullshit. <laughs> uh, so yeah, let's quickly read its effect. Once per turn, you can send one spellbook card from your hand from your deck to the graveyard. During the end phase of this turn, you can activate this effect. You can tribute this card of special summon one level five or high dark spell caster type monster from your deck. You must have at least five or more spellbook cards. Spell cards. With the different names in your graveyard to activate and resolve this effect. This is a good card. Why am I saying that? You have to literally work to get out your Dark Magician. Again, great effect. Great effect. But, like I said, spellcaster types are are uh, basically all revolved around either Dark Magician or Dark Magician car. If you're running that kind of hybrid deck with this, if you you legitimately have to run a hybrid deck with this in order for it to work perfectly. A Magician Girl or Dark Magician deck, like I said, both of them support each other. So here's the deal. You have to literally get those cards, like hybrid this deck, and it would be freaking OP as hell. I love it. It's a what? It's a this card, full of prophecy, is not such a fool after all, now is it? <laughs> you just gotta know when to play it and how to play. This is one of those cards in Yu-Gi-Oh where you gotta like think before you play this card. Like send your entire hand. It consists of all spell books, <laughs> spell books, spell cards. Like just use card of destruction. What do you? There you go. All of it gone. Bye. <laughs> this card easy summon. I'm just saying, Dark Magician, you all, Dark Magician would be perfect for this kind of uh, deck. I'm not even going to pronounce this last one, this this next one, because I am going to fuck it up so bad. Its stats, on the other hand, are freaking amazing. Water attribute, 500 attack, 1,500 defense, level 3 tuna monster. See? Balance. I'm just saying, it's a balanced card. Let's read this effect quickly. It's a level 3 just in case you didn't hear me the first time. And again, I'm so sorry for the bad cheese. This is being really annoying. When this card is normal summon, you can discard one card, then target one level 4 lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon in defense position. But negate its effects. Also, for the rest of this turn, you cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck except synchro monsters guess what nobody else is gonna nobody's gonna be doing that especially summoning any other type of monster from their deck except synchro monsters with a tuna on their field and if you you you're going out there legitimately and being one of those douches that use tuna monsters as exit material fusion material what is your problem <coughs> Sorry about that. I have a small little cough. This is also a super rare card. Really cool. Moving on to the next one. One of my favorite within the again, again, again. This is a warrior type retrain counterpart. Dark magician warrior type retrain counterpart. Level four. Dark attribute type. Let's let let's talk about this card. Break of the magical warrior. Such a cool card. Old school players or old school Yu-Gi-Oh! anime watchers will love this card. Okay, let's talk about its effects. Let's, but let's first cover its stats. 1,600 attack, 1,000 defense. Pretty good. Level 4, level 4. I mean, that's pretty good. As a standard. As a standard, that is really, really, really good. When this card... Let's cover its effect real, real quickly. When this card is normal summon, place one... Spell counter on this card, it gains 300 attack for, for each spell counter on it. You can remove one spell counter from this card, then target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy it. This is a quick destroy effect. Um, pendulum 
summoners don't stand a real good chance against. Do you think that uh, Kazuki Taka Takahashi already had Pendulum Summoning in mind when he came up with this card? It's a really good card. Uh, rest in peace, Kazuki Takahashi. Uh, one of the greatest. Yeah, let's not get in there. Let's not get in there. Again, really good card. Good artwork. Good stats on this card, especially for a dark type monster, which is also a spellcaster. Really, really good stats. It can easily get up to 1,600, 1,800, 1,900 in in attack. Basic, basic, really, really basic stuff. Uh, but also really good. Okay, let's uh, move on. Sorry about the bird again. Um, magical X. Uh, you know what? No, I'm not going to fuck that name up. I love this game way too much to fuck that name up. Let's go uh, to its, its stats. 1,700 attack, 1,400 defense. So, so on my... On my... Uh, on my... Scale of levels versus attributes. Uh, stats. So, 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 so. I'm so sorry about the butt again. Sorry, guys. Uh, each time this monster, each time a spell card is activated, you can place two spell counters on this card when when that spell resolves. Once per turn, you can remove once per turn, you can remove any number of spell counters from this card. Special summon one spell cast a monster from your hand or graveyard whose levels equal the number of spell counters Damn Remove so this could easily yeah Yeah, I could if you have like a dark magician or Dark magician again again just proving to us that these cards Sorry guys are Are compatible with dark magician dark magician girl archetype it would work really well with them. Uh, going back to that, going back to that. That was beautiful. Um, yeah. So, you could easily get out... <coughs> Again, sorry. Sorry about the cough, sorry about the butt. And, uh, yeah. Really good card, really, really good card. I mean, if you play this right and protected this card with like spells and traps, guess what? You can easily get out like a really high level spellcaster type monster. Whoa, here's an even rarer variant of a spellcaster fire type. Yeah, fire attribute. That's very rare. I think I've only like seen two or three Apple Magician Girl being one of them. Personally, one of my favorite cards, Apple Magician. Uh, yeah, Apple Magician Go. I think it's Apple Magician Go. I need to go and recheck that. Uh, yeah. Level 4 basic stats again. Basic regular standard stats. Stats 1500 attack, 1400 defense. Let's go with the. F with the, its effect. Strength of Prophecy. That's what the card's called. There we go. Uh, once per turn, you can shuffle one spell book spell card from your hand from your graveyard into your deck, then target one spell cast type monster on the field. Increase its level by one and its attack by five hundred. Ah, You're using that on this, aren't you? I mean, that's two thousand. Yeah, yeah, that's two thousand. I know it's once per turn, but still, yeah, you two of these on the field. Ha, two thousand five hundred. Easy. Easy, easy 2,500. But if you don't want to do that, you can always use the generic Xyz material. I mean, it's a level 4 most. Most of the good Xyz monsters are all rank 4s, so... I'm talking your, so your Utopias, Utopia Rays, all of those. Malevolence and personally, one of my favorite Xyz. I hate that card so much, yet I, I love it. I hate the fact that I love that card, Malevolence and... Oh. It does some real, real good, good stuff. And maybe we'll cover that in the next card review. Um, what a beast that card could be if you're smart with it. Uh, Charity of Prophecy is our next card. Again, really good stats. Balanced out so well. Here's another... Well, damn. Wind Attributes uh, Spellcaster type. What the what? Konami. Are they trying to cover everything? Once, do you have like a Divine Spellcaster that we don't know about? 
Yo, if you do know about a divine cast, a spell caster type, hit me up in the comment section. Damn. I would actually love to see that card. And you could tweet it to me at Logan Munion, capital R, capital M, on Twitter or Instagram, Logan Munion YT. Um, yes, I am wearing a Corbin mask in that picture. But again, uh, let's cover its stats on level 4. 1,800 attack, 1,300 defense. Pretty, pretty balanced for a level 4. Pretty balanced for a level 4. Let's read its effect. Once per turn, you can discard one spell book spell cast, uh, spell card from uh, to target one spell cast type monster in your graveyard. Add that card to your hand. Yeah, Magic Caliber. <laughs> I'm going Magic Caliber just because of the fact that it's a pendulum monster on that one. Just because of it. Because it's a pendulum monster. And I could probably use its pendulum effect really well if I have this in my hand. It's a good card. It's a good card. Don't, don't get me wrong. That last card was a really good card. But me. Uh. Okay. Moving on. Earth Attribute. Level 4. 1,600. 1,000 defense. Pretty standard. Pretty standard stuff. This might actually have a really good effect. If this card is used as an Xyz material, you can treat it as a level 5 monster. A level 5 monster. An Xyz monster that was summoned using this card on the field as material gains this effect. If it is Xyz summoned, draw one card. Okay, that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not the shit, but it's still pretty cool. It's still pretty damn cool. I like it. We have another Pendulum monster with weird ass scales again. Magic of Doctor, level 3, level 4, scale 3, WEIRD! It irks me. And he's an Earth attribute, I mean, cool I guess, 1700 attack, 1400 defense, eh, I guess, it's a level 4, so, pretty standard I guess. Alrighty, let's cover its pendulum effect, each time a spell card is activated, place one spell counter on this card, you can spell that's when that spell resolves no duh once per turn you can move up to three spell ca counters on this card target one pendulum monster in your deck add it to your hand this card makes me kind of want to think that you actually want to play this card in a pendulum spell a uh, spell cast a pendulum pendulum deck instead of an actual like part of this archetype this prophecy archetype spell book for prophecy archetype yeah you don't want to do that with this card. I would put this in a Magician Pendulum deck. That way it would make, make more sense for it to be there. As opposed to... I mean, it's a Magician Pendulum. Technically, it's a Magician Pendulum. I guess... Uh, why would you want to put it... In? Yeah. I mean, they could use... Magic Cal you could use Magic Caliber with this, but also, again, Magic Caliber has a better pendulum effect than this. It makes no sense for there to be a Magic Abductor in in your deck when you're using this. But I'll give it a shot. Like, like in casual play, I'll give it a shot. I'll give this deck a shot. With this card in it. A shot. Just for its pendulum effect, just to see how that works. Okay, on to its regular effect. I'm going on about this card like it's so bad. I mean, it's not bad. It has pretty decent stats. Let's, let's be fair, 1,700 attack is nothing to sneeze at. For your standard everyday average monster. Uh, but yeah, let's let's move on to its actual effect. Each time a spell is activated, you can place one spell counter on this card. When that spell resolves, this card gives 100 attack for each spell counter on it. Once per turn, you can remove up to three spell counters from this card. Add one level one spell caster type monster from your deck to your hand. Yeah! This makes no sense. Why is this card here? Like, in this... No! This card should not be here at all. It's wrong. Moving on very swiftly. Emperor Prophecy. Level 5, 2,300 attack, 
2000 defense, pretty standard dark attribute. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's okay. Artwork's pretty nice. It's an effect monster, so yeah, okay. Cool, pretty standard stuff for a level 5. I mean, the attack is pretty high. Let's be honest, the attacks are pretty high. Should have been like 100 down, Konami. Like, literally 100 down. Should have never gone 2,300. Yeah. Defense is pretty good. Let's talk about its effect real quickly before we get annoyed by this card. You can banish both one face up spell cast a monster you control except both this and one both one what the f no you can banish both one face up spell cast a monster you control except this card and one spell book <laughs> card from your graveyard then target one face up monster your opponent controls take control of it of that target until the end of the turn until the end phase okay end of the turn end phase same thing guys you can only use the effect of emperor of prophecy once per turn this card cannot attack during the turn this card was activated i can see how this would be useful i could see it. uh magical abductor and magic caliber mm. And some low level monsters into this. I could see how this card could be useful. Uh, triple D monsters, I guess, beware. Triple D, double D's, um, XZ summoners, high level synchros, high level plenty more guys. Hey, yo, this could be a danger. This could be a danger. I mean, this card annoyed me at first for like a teeny tiny bit with its unbalanced attack and defense, but its effect is pretty useful. It's like pretty pretty useful. I could see how this could be a game ender. I mean, if you have the right kind of you know pendulum summon like three or four low level two or three tribute summon to this XZ summon from that day or synchro summon whichever you want, and then take control game ender. If this card comes to dual links, we fuck. <laughs> if it's in Duel Links, come on, somebody hit me down in the comment section below. Ooh, I'm gonna go look at that shit later. Alright, Prophecy Destroyer. Level 6, it's a level 6, nice. 2500 attack, 1200 defense, pretty basic f attack stats for level 6, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Especially in effect monster. Normally effect monsters are the most unbalanced spellcast, especially when it comes to spellcaster types. Most unbalanced. Alright, here we go. If yes, it's effective. This card is in your graveyard. You can banish three spellbook monsters from your from your graveyard. Special summon this card from your graveyard. Okay, cool. Why are you saying graveyard so many times, Konami? Like why are you saying graveyard so many times? It's annoying, bruh. But seriously, really good card. Uh pretty good effect. I mean as as like a backup for a backup, I guess. Like could work in conjunction with this card. As a game ender. Definitely could work with that one if you play it right. If you play you know, the pendulum scales right. Yeah, I I can see how this how this and this card could work perfectly together. I mean the effects seem to be working in unison, so. So, yeah. Alright, Reaper of Prophecy, level 6, 2000 attack, 1600 defense. Guess what? It's a dark attribute. One of the coolest things. Alright. About spellcast types is that they shouldn't either be light or dark attribute. Uh, any other type feels weird. Alright, let's see. What its effect is, it is an effect monster. When this card is normal sum normal or special summon, you can activate this effect. Apply as many of these effects as possible based on the number of spell book cards with different names in your graveyard. <clears throat> you can only use the effects of spell the effect of spell Reaper of Prophecy, Spell of Prophecy. Why did I say that? Reaper 
Reaper of Prophecy once per turn. Three or more. This card gains 600 attack. Cool. Cool. Four or more. Add one spell book spell card from your deck to your head. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh. <laughs> you can special summon one level five or higher dark. Well, five or more. You can special summon one level five or higher dark. Spell cast a monster from your deck. Again, uh, pairing this with a dark magician or dark magician girl attack. Um, making this a dark magician, dark magician girl hybrid uh, deck. Guess what? Easy out for you guys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Standard attack, level six. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm really, really liking it. Okay, High Priestess of Prophecy. Mm, this is a level 7. Basic uh, basic stats for level 7. Ah, it's a light type. Whoa. Hello. Didn't see that coming. Uh, 2,500 attack. 2,100 defense. Basic Dark Magician stuff. You can reveal 3 Spellbook monsters in your... It's an effect monster. I should have said that. Didn't I? Let's read this. You can reveal three spell books in your hand. Special summon this card from your hand once per turn. You can banish one spell book spell card from your hand to the graveyard. Then target one card on the field and destroy it. <coughs> this is a backup card of note. I mean, it will work with with it. Effectively, works best with spell book spell cards. Why are you playing anything else if you have this in your hand? Like, especially if you're going towards, you know, the spell book route. Why are you playing anything else in your hand? Why? And are you stupid? Moving on to the next card, Wheel of Prophecy. Just give me... Whoa. It's a level 8 dark attribute. 1,700 1, defense. 2,700 attack. Uh, But lacking in the attack, though. I was expecting maybe more. Sorry if you had the clicking. I mean, good if it's cool that it's an effect type monster. But is it going up against the Blue Eyes White Dragon or a Triple D deck? Like head to head? Like, as it is standard, I don't know. I haven't read the, the effect yet. Guess what? Um, I'm not going to read the effect based on that. I'm not going to read the effect. I'm just going to say, like, as standard, if you don't. And like equip spells that increase attack and defense. It's not going up against the blue eyes. I think it's lacking in the attack. But that's just my opinion. All of these cards are just my opinion, guys. So let's read its effect. When this card is special summoned by the effect of a spell caster type monster, you can target as many of your banished spell book spell cards. Shuffle them into your deck, and if you do, return the other banished cards spell card, from your graveyard. And that made no sense, but okay. You can also use you can only use this effect of prophecy once, but yeah. If this card is special, yeah. Guess what? It's only a once per turn. It's like a one move. That's it. This is the late game card. It is a late game. It's a really late game card. Like Desperation late game cards. Is it good? Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, its effect is okay. I guess it balances out. Alright, moving on. Level 9, World of Prophecy. Whoa. This artwork is amazing. Again, lacking in the attack. Good defense. World of Prophecy. Level, uh, level 9. Light attribute. Cool. cool. Cool, 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 cool. Light attribute. Let's check out its effect. You, when this card is special summoned by the effect of a spellcaster type, you can... Spellcaster type monster or spellbook spell card. You can target two spellbook spell cards in your graveyard. And those targets... Add those targets to your hand. You cannot special summon other monsters during the turn. This... Uh, you activate this effect. <laughs> When you add cards to your hand by the effect of this cards, you can remove four spell books about cards with different names in your hand, destroy all other cards on the field. 
Why? You would expect to have... This card is not balanced in any way, shape, or form. It's not. I mean, with an effect like this, you would expect a higher attack. And I understand why they didn't do that. But can we get like 3,000, 3,200? Nothing above 3,500 for this card. Based on its effect. Konami. Reprint. Increase the life points. Uh, the attack points. Come on. Stop lacking with these cards. These are actually pretty good cards with pretty good effects. And you're lacking on the attack and defense. Especially the high level ones. Moving on to the spell cards. Spell book of secrets. Add one spell book from your deck to your hand. Accept spell book of secrets. You can only activate one spell book of secrets per turn. Nice. Pretty decent. Regular spell card. Cool. Uh, spell book of power. You can target one spell spell cast a monster you control. This turn it gains 1000 attack. Whoa. And if it does. Each time it destroys an opponent's monster in battle, you can add one spellbook monster, one spellbook spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of. You can. <laughs> okay, this is also a once per turn, but I can understand why it's a once per turn. <clears throat> Sorry about that. You can have like three of these, attach it to maybe that, and it'll probably do some pretty good damage. That's an ultra rare and that's not. And that's just a regular rare. <laughs> Variant variants are very unbalanced. Alright, this is a normal spell card. Spell book of eternity. You can target one banish spell book spell card. Target except spell book of eternity, oh, of course. And add that target to your hand. You can only activate the effect. Yeah, okay, also once per turn. Pretty decent, pretty fair. Pretty balanced. I like it. Uh, this is another one of those normal spell cards. Variant is rare. Spellbook library of Crescent. If you have no spellbook spell cards in your graveyard, reveal three spellbook spell cards with different names from your deck. Your opponent randomly adds one from the one of them from to your hand. Cool, I guess. And then shuffle the rest back into your deck. Okay, you can reveal. You can only activate it yeah, once per turn. Okay, cool. Once this is gone to the graveyard, guess what? Can't activate it again. So, no place. Beware. Beware. You have to have at least three of these in your deck. I want to check how many copies I have of this. Uh, so, yeah. Spellbook Library of Heliosphere. The artwork is flippin' brilliant on this one. If... You have five or more spellbook cards in your graveyard. Excavate the top two cards of that from your deck. Add the excavated spellbook spell cards to your hand. Also shuffle the other cards into your deck. You can only activate one. One Heliosphere per turn. You can only activate... You cannot activate any other spell cards the turn this card is activated. So use this card with... Caution. Knowing what you're doing, this is a last card in your. This is a last spell card in your hand. Kind of. This is a last move kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, you play all your other spell cards before you play this one. Alright. Spell book ma of the masters. This is a normal spell. Super rare variant. Let's check its effect. If you control a spell card type, you can reveal one other spell card. Spell book card in your hand and then target one spell book normal spell in your graveyard except spell book of the master this card's effect comes that card's effect you can only activate one spell book of masters per turn really good card love that one love the artwork very beautiful uh you can effectively like trade out effects with this card it's really cool that's really cool. Spellbook of Miracles. Another one of those normal spell cards. Normal variant spell cards. Which is also a normal <laughs> uh, spell. Alright, let's go. You can target one Xyz monster in your graveyard. And add up to two of your Spanish spellbook spell cards. Especially summon that monster. And if you do, attach the targeted spellbook spell cards to the 
to it as exchange materials. Whoa, this card is good. You can only activate Spell Book of Miracles once per turn. This could be a good card for Exodia. Which is why, I, uh, not Exodia, Utopia, sorry. I can see how this could be a really good add to your Exodia deck. Like if you're building um, a Spell Book deck, add Utopia into that. Into the, like, use Utopia as a, as, as a support in your extra deck this could be very valuable to it all right let's go on to the next one spell book of knowledge you can send to your graveyard either one spell book monster you control or one other spell book card from your hand or face up on the field spell book of knowledge okay spell book of knowledge of course uh and if you do draw two cards you can only yeah okay once per turn. Spell Book of Knowledge can only be activated once per turn. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a good card? It's basically a part of greed with added effects. But cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what's play? Maybe. I'll have to see later and tell you guys what it's like. Alright. Demoted Path. What? Did I, m did I mess up that? Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's move on to respect. It's a normal, normal. It's a normal, normal spell card. Normal variant and normal spell card. Uh, all right. Target one spell cast a monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. You can only activate it. Okay, this is uh again. Pretty good card. I mean, combinations. Again, pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, wonder wand. Oh, this is one of the good spell cards. I love this card. Add this, like, if you have this card, add it to all your Dark Magician decks. You can equip equip only to a spell cast type monster. It gains 500 attack. If you control this equip card, if the equip card, equipped monster, sorry about that, card is sent to the graveyard, draw two cards. Also, again, really good. Spell Book of Life. You know what? I'm just gonna leave this here because I love this card so much. I'm gonna just leave this for you guys to read and then go, Oh my god! Or pause the video and then go, Oh my god! Really good, really, really good. The Great Spell Book Tower. Again, a feel spell <laughs> something I love very much. Uh, pause this and then read that and you will understand why. Spell Book of Star Hall. Another one you guys are gonna have to pause to read because this is a really good card. Uh, Spell Book of Wisdom. I don't know this one. Okay, it's a quick play. Target one spell cast monster on the field, then activate the effects. One of these effects. That face up monster is unaffected by spells and traps. That face up monster cannot. Okay, is unaffected by traps. Okay. Either or, neither nor. Pick one. Uh, Spell Book of Fate. I also like this one. Uh, guess what? You guys are gonna have to pause this to read it because this card is that good that I don't want to read it. Uh, Spell Book of Judgment. Oh, limited card. Yeesh. Let's not cover the limited cards, please. Uh, trap cards. Oh, this card has a good effect. Target two cards in your graveyard. Shuffle them in those targets into your deck. Really cool, really cool. Um, shapeshifter. Oh, this is a good card. It can turn itself into a tuna. It's basically a trap monster. Oh, dude, what? Um, I'm not covering the trap cards because I don't like trap cards very much. Arcanite Magician. Now, a friend of mine told me that this could possibly be a Dark Magician counterpart. A Synchro counterpart. And I don't think so, based on its stats. Based on its stats, I don't think so. <laughs> when this card is special, so let's read this effect and you'll understand why. And you'll completely understand why. If this sing if this card is synchro summoned at place two spell counters on this. If this card this card gains one thousand attack for each spell counter on it. You can remove one spell counter from this card from the field. From your field target this you know what? No. 
this is definitely not an adopt position. Uh, if anything, it's an octane, you know, uh, Queen's Knight, King's Knight, Jack's Knight. Yeah, this would fit perfect in that. It would. If you could find the right tunes, it would fit perfect in that deck. Uh, fortunately, every I've seen this played so many times online that it doesn't even need to be explained. Seriously, it doesn't really need to be explained. This is such a good card, and its attack can be like basically anything you need it to be at the time. And it's a level 7. Emperor, Empress of Prophecy, I've also seen this card played a lot. You guys don't need the explanation. If you're playing Master Duel, you should see this card a lot on this thing. Uh, Herophant of Prophecy, this is also another one of those cards that are constantly played on in spellbook decks. Oh, so good. And then we have a link monster. It's a link two monster. You guys can pause because I'm not really into link monsters. Pause and read this and then tell me what you think in the comment section down below. And that's it for Spellbook of Prophecies. Let's back out. And yeah, wow. Really good deck. Really, really good deck. Overall. 7 out of 10. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10 for that stuff. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10 for that. Specifically for that. Let me put my mic back on my mic stand. And be prepared to end this video. Because it is gone on for far too long. And I didn't intend for that. All the events coming up. All the live doors and stuff like that. That's what basically Master Duel has on its home screen. So yeah. Let us keep going to the end hey listen if you're into your survival and war genre type of games go ahead and check out easy 12 game as well i will try again i've been failing so hard at this thing uh you will i will try and leave a link to his description uh in the description but yeah if you follow me on instagram it's at logan money yt on Twitter, it's at Logan Munion. So yeah, that's about it. Hit the likes, hit the subscribe, hit the comments, and hit the bell notifications. Click them to always on. Also, leave all of your comments on. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, leave all of your comments down below. Also, hit the bell notification. Keep your your subscribes on public so I can know who to say hi to in the next video but until next time guys just remember to be nice to each other because being nice is free